So this is the batch distillation column. Um, we're separating methanol and ethanol. So one of the things that we want to find here is the reflux ratio of the batch distillation column. And because the um, flow rates are correlated to the time that the valve spends in each position, we time how long the valve is in each position, and then from that we can calculate the reflux ratio. So taking a data point, um, we're going to use this refractometer, which um, you put you put a little bit right here, which you want to get in here. Yeah. Let's so there's a little piece right there, or a little bit of it. So you close that and push start, and then you'll get a value around 1.3, and then um, you use a correlation that's on the site to get your concentration of uh, methanol inside of your distillate. And the distillate is found right here. It comes out of this tube. So you, you can take that and put a little bit into this beaker, and that's what you use to put it on there in the refractometer. So one of the things you want to remember is not to try to start the batch column by itself. This is something that Mike is going to do. And if you want to get started on time, it's best to tell him 45 minutes ahead of time so that you can get some good data points in. So the reflux ratio you set with uh, LabVIEW is not the actual reflux rate. So um, you're going to set it right here and then push this button right here, which will um, turn it on. It's actually about 1.5 less than what you set. So if you set 5 on the computer, then the reflux ratio is going to be approximately 3.5. But that's why we measure it with um, time, so you can get an actual reflux rate. So a uh, run takes about 3 hours, so you're going to be doing the same run with the same reflux ratio. Um, for the entire class period, but you will be taking data points every 15 minutes to, to get a good idea of how the column is operating.